First Corinthians 12, chapter, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Verse 2, ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Now I'm going to read that again in the Good News Bible translation. This is what I use as a back up to my King James Version, because if you were just a, a strict bio, a King James Version student, you're really not going to get a good understanding of what it's saying, unless you're running a whole lot of... Uh, References in the Greek and Hebrew, which I do have. This is the Good News Bible translation right here. Our today's English version. Now concerning what you wrote about the gifts from the Holy Spirit, I want you to know the truth about them, my friends. You know that while you were still heathen, you were led astray in many ways to the worship of lifeless idols. I want you to know that no one who is led by God's Spirit can say a curse on Jesus. And no one can confess Jesus as Lord without being guided by the Holy Spirit. They are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit gives them. They are different ways of serving, but the same Lord is served. They are different abilities to perform service, but the same God gives ability to all for their particular service. The Spirit's presence is shown in some way in each person for the good of all. Notice what it says here. I'm going to read that again. The Spirit's presence is shown in some way in each person for the good of all. Now I'm going to read that in the King James Version. 12, 7, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. See, notice how it's written. Very few people really comprehend what they're saying. It's actually said that the spirit presence is shown in some way in each person for the good of all. Now let me just share this. These verses is not talking about a church service. A church service is totally contrary to the operations of the gifts of the spirit. A church service shuts down the gifts of the spirit. You cannot have a church service as well as the gifts of the Spirit operating. They are totally contrary to one another. They are people. When you go to church as a member of Greater Mount Sinai or the Glorious Church or the Church on the Hill or whatever else, you are going to a church service. When the Christians in the Bible came together, they came together as a member of the body of Christ to function as a member of the body of Christ, to be functional in their gifts. What do you mean their gifts? Once you become born again, and you receive Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life, and you are filled with his Holy Spirit, you, a, you are given a gift of the Spirit or Gifts of the Spirit. Being a prophet, operating more than one gift. All right? We'll read that again. Verse 7. The Spirit's presence is shown in some way in each person for the good of all. The Spirit gives one person a message full of wisdom. While to another person, the same Spirit gives a message full of knowledge. Verse 9. One and the same Spirit gives faith to one person while to another he gives the power to heal. Stop right there. Now wait a minute. The Spirit gives one person a message of wisdom by the body and to another person he gives a message of a word of knowledge? Wait a minute. What's the pastor going to do? Anyway, let me keep reading. The Spirit gave one person the power to, to operate in faith and to another person the power to heal. The power to heal? The King, uh, the King James Version says in verse 
Let's see. Yeah. Verse 9. To another faith by the same spirit, another the gifts of healing by the same spirit. In other words, people, there are different gifts of healing. For example, God may give one person the gift of healing cancer. To another person, he may give the, the gift of uh, healing crippled limbs or whatever. I'm serious, people. These are gifts and abilities that God gives to the body of Christ. But they don't operate in them. Why? Because church don't allow that. And pastor don't allow that. If any miracle occur in his church, it's going to come through him or his elders or those who are in authority. I'm serious, people. Verse 10, the Spirit gives one person the power to work miracles. Work miracles, please. <laughs> to another, the gifts of speaking, message, speaking God's message. Speaking God's message. And yet another, the ability to tell the difference between gifts that come from the Spirit and those that do not. In other words, King James Version said the gifts are discerning of spirits. To discern What's operating in the body? Truly operating in the body. Is it the power of Satan or is it the power of the Holy Spirit? Or is it a spirit of truth? Or is it a spirit of error? And this person used usually sometimes has the ability to even see in the realm of the spirit. As the Holy Spirit chooses to give him or her. That's that person's gift. For the body of Christ. Okay. To one person he gives the ability to speak in strange tongues. And to another he gives the ability to explain what is said. King James said tongues and interpretation of tongues. But it is one and the self same spirit who does all this as he wishes. He gives a different gift to each person. He gives a different gift to each person. Is that operating in your church? Nope. I never saw this in the Church of God in Christ. And I saw it a little bit in the charismatic churches. Satan has literally shut this down. Why? Because if the body of Christ operates in its full potential, Potential, they are extremely dangerous to his mission. This will be continued, people. God bless.